and welcome back to the channel so in this video I want to talk about the Lyric Graffiti X and then I want to talk about what if and the Graffiti Extreme. So let's talk a little bit first about the Lyric Graffiti X. So there's been several videos out there um, prototype the prototype model uh, of the bike is out there and being reviewed ridden by several people so far I really like what I see on the bike uh, and from what I can gather there's nothing that I don't like uh, really about the bike except for there's a couple of things I would change but Uh, that I would uh, prefer something different and so that's about it for the most part I really like the bike I like um, the look of the bike I like the power that it has speed is fine uh, all of that if I was being picky I guess there's three things um, that I'd like to see different first of all the big one to me is the battery and that's always going to be um, a thing because especially these higher powered bikes are going to require uh, some battery you know some battery power and so being 40 amp hour that sounds like a lot right but I think once you get riding for a little while, and especially if you're going to ride distance, you know, you want to ride distance. You don't want to just do a, a 10 mile ride and that's it. Say you want to ride 30, 40, and maybe even 50 miles. I think you start, you, uh, start to have uh, anxiety over uh, uh, whether you're going to make it. And let's face it, on that bike, you're not pedaling. You're using throttle and you're probably i'm going to guess going to be at least going pretty much 30 miles per hour or maybe more but let's say you average 30 miles an hour it doesn't take that long to rip through a battery um, and uh, all that power in the battery will be drained before you know it and I highly doubt you're gonna lug around an extra battery, especially at the weight that it uh, is. So, so I'd like to see a larger battery, say 50 or 60 would even be better amp hour. I know the price would jump up quite a bit with that though, so. I wish the batteries were more efficient than they are and you could go further and the other thing uh, I'm riding the Lurk Graffiti as uh, right now uh, so I should have mentioned that off the start if you didn't already know but it has the same display here on this bike as it does on the Graffiti X and uh, I probably would have preferred a larger display i do like the uh, larger uh, display uh, so you can see it good and you can have more things on there uh, like i'd like to see uh, voltage and percentage both on the screen that would be good and i'd like to see nice big numbers not that this uh, miles per hour on here is really big that's not a problem at all but just overall, I just like to see a bigger, a bigger display. I'm trying to think. There was one other thing I think that I would. Oh, I know what it was now. The tires. So I haven't tried the bike yet. 
So I don't know um, for sure until I uh, try it myself how it's going to feel on the street. But indications are that the, the tires are just fine. But I'm wondering if you don't do a lot of off-roading, and, and I haven't seen really anybody take that bike really much off-roading. Not a whole lot. I mean, I did see uh, Mr. Central Driver take it off-road there at night, at night, and I couldn't see very well. Um, and so it would have been nice to see a daytime, so you could see better, um, off-road. I'd like to see how that bike performs off-road. But, uh, but uh, what if you're a person that prefers to ride on the street? And you're not going to ride really off-road. So I'm thinking street tires might be good on that bike. If that's all you're going to do. Now for me, I don't know. I do want to do a little bit of off-roading. But uh, I want to see how the bike handles with that. I mean, it should be pretty good seeing as it has the uh, full suspension now. And... Whoa. I heard him yell sorry, but anyway. I'd like to see what it can do off-road, but uh, for me, if I'm doing a lot of off-roading though, I would probably prefer a different bike than the Graffiti X. And I would rather go with something like a uh, Talaria. Something like that, or a uh, Saran. A Saran would be good too, but I find the Sarans to be a little bit pricey compared to like something like a Talaria. Saran kind of reminds me of the uh, Super 73 big name and you pay a lot of money for the big name and I think you can go elsewhere for something very similar or better uh, for a lower price so anyway uh, I don't know how this bike is going to be for sure off-road like I say most of the videos that I've seen on the bike are on road but I like what I've seen I did notice that the uh, bike topped out around 48 to 50 miles per hour, which is perfect, I think. I don't know if you really need a whole lot more speed than that. Because you're not going to be or shouldn't be riding on a, on a highway at 55 miles per hour. I pretty much like everything about the bike. I like the look. Like I say, if there's three things I could probably change, uh, like I'd like to see a different display, maybe an option for street tires and a larger battery, but you can't complain for the price point of this bike uh, because you look around, I don't think you're going to get anything any better for that kind of price. And if you can, let me know in the comments. Uh, what bike that is. All right, now I want to talk about what about a Graffiti Extreme? What if? So I'm wondering, now I have no idea, I doubt that this is ever going to come to be, but I'm wondering if where uh, Lyric Cycles goes next or at their next bike now they may do a completely different build they may just see how these go and that's it for now i don't know but what if there was another graffiti up their sleeve we've had two graffitis the one i'm on now and then the newer 2023 graffiti this is a 2022 oh, that's a pretty strong win and then we've got now the graffiti x and here I am asking you, uh, what you, what about this uh, Graffiti Extreme? And we haven't even gotten 
our graffiti x uh, delivered yet so i am jumping the gun a bit but i was just thinking about this today like what if there was a graffiti extreme and with this extreme i'm thinking well since they've gone to 60 volt on the graffiti x what if the extreme had 72 volt so a little more voltage to make the bike a little more efficient especially if you're riding uh, distance and what about a little bit larger battery than the 40 say we did go up to a 50 amp hour or even a 60. now i know it may be that may be too much now bordering on or already is a motorcycle right but let's keep the pedals on the bike and keep it exactly the way it is now just like this one with a um I had to behave there as a cop but I wasn't going fast anyway so it's all good but anyway what do you think of that a 72 volt graffiti extreme with a 50 amp hour or possibly even a 60 amp hour battery that'd be awesome and I don't know if they would want to up the motor just a little bit and maybe the um, controller and go to a uh, BAC 4000 or stick with the 2000 but 72 volt definitely would be uh, intriguing now I don't know what that would cost but I got to figure if it's 50 amp hour battery and a 72 volt, you're probably looking at five grand, I would suspect. And that's not counting changing out the controller or anything like that. So that's my uh, thoughts on the Graffiti X and a future bike that would be called the Graffiti Extreme. And with the Extreme, they, I would uh, say uh, give an option of whether you want street tires or uh, street tires or uh, dual sport tires like they have on it now or just strictly off-road. But. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I thought I'd talk a little bit about the Graffiti X. By the way, I do have a link in the description for the Graffiti Lyric Cycles. And I do have a discount code if you want to purchase any one of Lyric's uh, bikes there on their site. It'll save you $150. That's Oregon E-Biker Mark, all one word. Oregon E-Biker Mark will save you $150 off the purchase of a Lyric Cycles bike. And I want to mention one more thing here before I uh, completely uh, leave you. And that is that the first batch of Graffiti X bikes were sold out in about a week. Those are going to be, uh, as far as I know, they're still in line to be delivered in August. Looking forward to that and yes i did purchase one and i purchased the uh, black the painted black one is the one that i chose and the second batch are up for sale right now pre-order and they will be delivered uh, expected to be delivered anyway in uh, november so uh if you want to get yourself in on that i don't know how many is left in the second batch but that's as much as I know about uh, what's going on. So hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you would like to subscribe and uh, support the channel, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the, uh, the uh, subscribe button. 
And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.